Alive and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where edutainment explains it. We are doing a movie review today. Yes, Alien Romulus. Now, this movie did a lot of things very well. It also did a lot of things not so well. And I'm going to give you my opinion, how I felt about the movie, so on and so forth. You know, movie review shit. But before we get off into that, let's do what we need to do so we can do what we want to do. Comment, like, subscribe, and share to Be Real with D-Real page. And when you subscribe, turn on your notifications. So that when new material comes out, you get it if you dig in what a brother shoveling and put some dirt in my bucket. Comment, like, subscribe, and share why. Because entertainment is what I do. Hello, hello, everybody. Once again, we get to see the xenomorph in cinematic action. This time, we get to see xenomorphs. And face huggers, can't forget the face huggers in the prequel. Pre betweenquel. Like what do you what do you call a movie that occurs between two other movies? Because that's you know what? I can show you better than I can tell you. Okay. Here is the alien Romulus timeline. And this is the time frame. Okay. The movie Alien takes place in 2122. The video game Alien Isolation, which is part of the canon, takes place 15 years after the Alien movie. And those guys have to deal with a xenomorph. What are the odds that that creature ended up... Anyway, then we got Alien Romulus six years later. And then we got, of course, Aliens. Then if you want an overreaching timeline, there you go. That's what happens. That is the Alien series of movies. Though I have not I think Alien Earth is a video game. Um, Prometheus, Alien Covenant, mm, meh. You know what I mean? They were kind of, mm, eh. But anyway, we're not going to dwell on that. Kaylee Spanny and David Johnson are our primary antagonists. Miss Spanny is Rain, and David Johnson is her artificial person Andy and they agree to go on board a derelict ship with some of their young friends it almost is like a Friday the 13th situation you know what I mean where they're just like hey we gonna do this you know what I mean and we're just this is how we getting stuff done we, 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 we need to get, uh, it, there's a mining colony that they are on and they don't want to be on this mining colony anymore. So they're going to go up to this derelict ship, steal them some fuel and whatever else they can get. And then they're off to this wonderful paradise land. But the problems start to ensue when they need, when they end up upgrading uh, Andy and Andy, for some reason, all artificial people, I guess they're like Bluetooth together. So <laughs> what one knows, the other, you know, that information gets passed on. And so this this particular AI, um, and we also get a, a an, an interesting appearance by the original artificial person who appeared in the first Alien movie in CG. But a lot of this movie is is practical. You know, you get, you know, the regular movie effects and, and not a gang of CGI. 
that was a good thing if you were going to do an alien movie. But we find out all of the foolishness ensues when they get in this ship, turn everything on, thaw everything out, and then you got face huggers running all over the damn place. You know what I'm saying? So you're dealing with the face huggers, and because they're face huggers, face huggers are gonna face hug, and the face huggers do what face huggers do. And they have to deal with that situation. And eventually, you get one of those. And after a little while, you have several of those. And no way to fight until somebody introduces Rain, is the character's name, to the Pulse Rifle. And she takes a rather unique approach to dealing with the situation. Not going to give it away, but it is a most spectacular attempt to get out of trouble. Um, long story short, it's an alien movie. It's getting back to the, the, the suspenseful horror roots that the original Aliens was before Alien before aliens became this actioner and it was more more of an actioner than 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 a straight horror movie uh me personally i enjoy aliens more uh i enjoyed the action i enjoyed the the repartee the the back and forth between the characters that and that's what made you know aliens good Bill Paxton, let's just be honest. Bill Paxton was that whole movie. <laughs> uh, besides Sor Sigourney Weaver, I ain't taking nothing from her. But pr pr Romulus. It's, it's interesting for the things that it did. And it's maligned, at least in my opinion, for the things that it did not do. Um, this movie's got a running time of about an hour and 59 minutes, and I feel like the only two characters that they really wanted us to attach to were Andy and Rain. And that kind of led me to believe, as I always do with my movie sense, if you are not giving me any sense of urgency that these people need to be protected or take care, they they the, the 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 supporting characters in the movie to me were similar to teenagers in a Friday the 13th movie or 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 a Halloween movie you know what I'm saying they're not taking inventory of the things going on around them they're not taking a deep look and so because they don't things happen that happen in horror movies and, and, and that's kind of what went on with Alien Romulus. Um, the 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 effects for the Xenomorph, I liked. The effects for the um, face huggers, that was great too. I mean, you get, again, movie effects, not CGI. That's what made it great. They had this x-ray machine where that could look through stuff. And you pretty much knew what that machine was going to be used for later on in the movie. So those kinds of things, I'm like, okay, that's that's too MacGuffin to be a MacGuffin. So it's like, all right, we know what's going to happen. Somebody going to see, you know, and you see that to some degree in the trailer. As far as the story, it was a decent story. They told a, a, a coherent story. But again, like I said, it was all about Rain and Andy. We didn't really get to know what, other folks motivations were not too much because they didn't want us to get that attached to them i don't know maybe if i had a got more attached to them when they died it wouldn't have seemed and i'm not saying everybody died but you know it's an alien movie so somebody gonna die so it's not like i'm giving that away um it seemed like it would have meant more their deaths would have meant more if you had got let me get to know what kind of person they were, then just be on the surface. I mean, just you know, I, I surface being mean person, scary person, 
anxious person, but I didn't, you know, you they didn't give us enough of, you know, we didn't get to examine Tyler and find out what his motivations are. We didn't get to examine Kay. We didn't get to examine Bjorn. We, you know what I'm saying? And 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 uh, what was her name? Uh, Navarro. We didn't get to examine and and get a deep look at them. And and the the movie was just like don't care for them. At least that's the energy I was getting from it. Um, and the the alien at the end, just no, no, no. Overall, this is one of those one and done movies. I would not recommend going back to see this again. They captured the essence of what an alien movie should be, but they just didn't bring it home because you didn't make me care for the characters. You didn't make me concerned about the characters. I was concerned about more than 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 um, Ripley in um, Aliens. I was concerned about Hicks. I was concerned about Hudson. I was concerned about Vasquez. You, you see, see how I can remember their names? I was concerned about Apon. You know what I mean? I was I was concerned about it because you gave me character. You showed me who these guys were. They don't do that as effectively in Alien Romulus. You know, you just give me a cursory understanding and then that's it. You know? Might have been a better movie, but uh, I hear it's doing okay. You know, opening weekend, it did all right. Matter of fact, let me. I'm right here, IMDB. I can tell you how it did. So, eighty million dollar movie. Uh, gross forty two million domestically, hundred and ten million worldwide. So, if it stays on a forty million pace, should do great. <laughs> not not gonna unseat Deadpool or Wolverine, but. You can always dream, right? But look here, uh, my review, I'll be honest with you. I gave it a 5.5 out of 10. That's just me. The action was there, wasn't enough of it. The, you didn't give me enough to uh, information or backstory about the supporting characters for me to even care about what happened to them. And the effects and the look of that final xenomorph Could have made it should have just went with the look from uh alien resurrection that probably would have worked a little better you know what i mean but they just didn't do it like that 5.5 5 out of 10 from your boy look at y'all that's it for now y'all but fret not i will be coming at you with another one of the mother ones and until i do yo y'all be good be good to each other <laughs>